what you wanted, you said you wanted a tulip. Honey, honey, I'm sorry, I didn't get Come on over here, come on over here. Okay, okay, okay. Maestro, drum roll, please. Okay, and... Move on up! Huh? Huh? Luxury car for a luxury lady. You're gonna look like a million. What? The car, where am I gonna put it? <laughs> Did you hear that? I got out of the car, she wants to know where's the garage. Is that a woman one? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it's very sporty. Uh, it's nice and it's very nice. Yeah, it's nice. Nice? What did you want me to say? Listen, I got you the best car the money can buy. I expect for you to say something. You know, you, I like it, I love you, something. This plant isn't going to make it. Will you forget about the plants? Okay. Do you want me to make you something to eat? I can make you an omelet, or... What? Or... You know, we never use the kitchen. Have you noticed that? All this space. For nothing. Christina, I'm trying to talk to you. Stunt it. It refuses to grow. I'm talking about us. So was I, Eddie. Nobody could beat the Mets, 1969. Ty Cobb put them all ashamed. He retired with 4,191 major league hits. That was Cy Young. Ah! <laughs> he was a pitcher, Christina. We're talking are about Are you slug. positive? I'm a sports writer. Yes, but are you positive it wasn't Cy Young? Because I'm positive it was Cy Young. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, uh, glasses up. Well? No? Uh, next time. Yeah, forget it. Night, Chrissy. Oh. Thanks. Good night. You want to ride home, kid? No. Sure now, because it ain't out of the way. No, I'm sure. Uh oh. What? No, no. Night. Good night. Ain't nobody say an old Christine has that look in her eye. Well, my heart goes out to that poor devil, whoever he is. Oh, stop. Be careful. I'll be careful. Mm. Did Eddie tell you? Tell me what? You're supposed to drive me home tonight. It was only if you couldn't get a ride. Guess what? Thank you. Eddie lives here? Uh, no. <laughs> I do. Oh. Why don't you come in? Uh, I don't... Just for a second. Uh, no, I don't... For a cup of coffee. Okay? Come on. So what happened after that? Well, I got bored there too. Translating is very boring. And watering plants isn't. One day, Mr. Matthews, you will come to appreciate plants and cats sitting on floors and... and you won't go turning your nose up at the dawn either. What time is it? Look at the sky, Alan. Not your watch. Oh, it's so beautiful. Where are my shoes? Huh? My shoes. 
I think your cat stole my shoes. Here they are. You're going to eat and run, huh? I've been here for three hours. What do you want? You. You're it, Mr. Matthews. You're not going to be stubborn about this, are you? What are you doing? I was simply... What? You were what? You don't know, do you? You don't know what you want or what you're doing in life. You work in an herb store. A garden shop. You eat, you sleep, you wake up, and you work. And then you hang out in Eddie's all night. And you mouth off about sports and politics, which you don't know anything about. Oh. And you do? As a matter of fact, I do. And I happen to know what I want in life. And Eddie's a good time girl, isn't it? Who are you mad at, Alan? Me? Or you? Forget what I said. You're right. You're right. I don't know. I haven't even tried to be what it is I really want to be. What's that? <sighs> to be a chef. Then do it. Just do it, Christina. You don't need me. You'll be back. Just you wait, Mr. Matthews. You'll be back. Hi, Red. Thanks for setting me up, Gloria. I didn't put no flowers out here. Morning. Gloria, guess what? What? When Eddie gets back, mm -hmm. I'm doing it. I knew that. What? I had a dream last night. You and Eddie were on a big raft, and it just split in two. See? Oh, no, yes. Christina, you don't just break it off like you that. Today? What? And I have to. Why? I told you. Alan, what about him? We had breakfast this morning. So? Chrissy, you hardly know him. For all you know, he's probably married or engaged. And just because you're engaged, you think the whole world is engaged. Well, what do you know about him? Where is he from? New York. Oh, good. Where does he live? What's his middle name? C. Peter. Tom. David. I mean, what are you telling me? That if I don't know his middle name, I, I can't love him? God, Gloria. Sometimes you're very shallow. Fine, Christina. Tell me what is so great about Alan. He glowers. <laughs> when I go into the restaurant, he practically spits. Oh, that's romantic. Because he knows that I am not a decoration. And he wears me on his arm like a bracelet or something. But, but, but Alan glowers at you. You know, he cares. He doesn't know it yet. But he really cares about me. This is love, Gloria. This is love. You're ending a two-year relationship because of one breakfast with a bartender? That's not love, Chrissy. It's crazy. Oh. Hey. It hasn't been working for a year, Eddie. Did you hear what I said? Who is he? Come on, it's got to be someone else here. You know, you, you mess around behind my back, right? No. No, no, I... I would never cheat on you. You've, uh... You've been too good to me.
Why do you make it sound like it's all over? Because it is. Give me one good reason. He loves my buckwheat pancakes. Admit it, Eddie. You never did care for them. Yep. Place needs a little change. Or maybe we'll, uh, get a little jazz combo in here on weekends, you know? Piano, vocalist, bass. Yeah. Hey, we're not open till five. Hi, Eddie. I brought your things back. Oh, uh, Christina, you didn't have to bring back the silver. I don't need it. It's yours. You know, she never listens. It's her Mediterranean blood. It makes her go deaf. 250 for 15 minutes, okay? Don't burn it. What are you bringing this up before? Silly. She doesn't even know how to break up. Look, you're supposed to be threatening palimony here. Hey, yeah, where are you going? Um... I just want to get some more bottle concepts. Come on, this is a family affair. It's a family restaurant. You know, she's just going through the phase. No, 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 Eddie. Eddie, I'm not coming back. Yeah. See what I mean? She wants to throw her life down the drain. What am I supposed to do, huh? I don't know, Eddie. Have some pretzels? You know, I spent two years listening to the talk about her cats. The Fifi this and Balzac that. I got cats coming out of my ears. Look, I'm not complaining. Is this a beautiful woman or what? Huh? Am I right? Eddie asked you a question. It was a rhetorical statement. Yeah, so, you know, I figured one day I'd come home and the cats would drop dead just like the plants. See? is not like cats either. Now she wants to feed me a uh, veal parmesan here. You know, I put on 10 pounds from her cooking. It's chicken and crepes. And she makes these buckwheat pancakes. Ow. Just like old shoes. Hey, she makes great buckwheat pancakes. She does, huh? Pal. I'm what? Yeah, you are history, Romeo. Daddy, you no. dumped me for him. Stop it. Daddy. Oh. Oh. I, uh, um, can't believe he hit you. Here. Oh, all right, all right. I'll do it. Well. I guess you're not going to be working tonight, huh? No, I guess not. So, uh... Well, maybe you'd like to come over for some dinner. No, Christina. No, I definitely do not want dinner. This movie is sponsored by... Celebrate African American Month with Lifetime, starting at 1 on Saturday. Would I marry Alan? I'm going to wear this. Christina, it's been weeks. He hasn't called, he hasn't written, he hasn't even asked you for a date. He will. He's thinking about what? Uh, you need a shrink, kiddo. You better face it. The man's not interested. You don't have a romantic bone in your bony body. How sad to be an earthbound bride. But you wear sneakers to your own wedding. Well, at least I'll have a wedding. What does that mean? It means you're going to end up with a dozen cats instead of kids. Some crazy old spinster sitting around waiting for what's his face to call. I'm not kidding, Chrissy. Gloria. You look beautiful. I'm late for work. Work? 
It's not a real job, Christina. I'm a salad girl now, because of you, that night. Uh, it was just a, a conversation. It wasn't an interlude or anything. It, it was just more like a conversation. But the kind that wakes you up, he was so blunt. He, he was great, the best. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you, Alan. And I hope you both enjoy the salads. Christina, it's good to see you again. I'm sorry, it's a, it's a long story. I told you. I'm in here, Alan. How, how did you know I was coming over? Well, you haven't got a chance, Mr. Matthews. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's really 
going, huh? Well, sure, you paid your hard-earned cash for uh, to do sole owner. To do anything I want with? Well, you can keep her in your living room if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see her free, Red. I mean it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, sister. I was honest with you. I told you the truth. That's it. There isn't any more. You just skipped over the most important part. Which is? The reason you ran away from me. You were married, huh? Briefly. Less than a year. And then we got divorced. Christina, I got high marks in college. But I flunked relationships. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't want to lose again. Oh, baby. 
Nobody's gonna lose this time. I promise. two cats. I don't have a dog. Well, they're too old to split up. They're inseparable. Sort of like us, huh? Christina, can we discuss this, huh? Christina, are we going to discuss this or not? Christina. Oh, I don't know. I'm serious. Uh, do you mind? Go ahead. What are you doing? Stop worrying, Alan. I'll wait. I'll wait for you to come home. You can... Scream and kick, but you must know where you belong. Oh, yes. I just need some painting and cleanup. Can you have the electricity and water turned on before we move in? I am not moving in here, Christina. <laughs> Burgundy, right? Thank you. Hey, hey. I'm going to show you these. What are they? Alan bought them for me. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I need your help. No, don't you need these. Oh, there. Hey, Alan, how's the new job? Oh, it's great. It's terrific. Yeah. Hey, let me get your refill, huh? Always the bartender. Yeah, right. Always the bartender. Yeah. 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 Hey, you got the right idea, though. Here you go. Thanks. Isn't her apartments? This place, you two be right on top of each other. Not so bad, is it? Hey, bachelors are an endangered species, huh? Gotta put you guys in wildlife parks. <laughs> it's Alan's first present to me. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? You're the only other person who can use it. Well, I just soon drink out into a bottle here. Well, I think so. Merry Christmas. Poor Christina. What do you mean? Look at this place. Such a come down after Eddie's. She had it all. The round bartender? Yeah, sure. That's my job. You did the cooking. You did the sulking. Look, I can't wash the dishes mm -hmm. if you're gonna breathe down my neck. She knows Jack like an angry blob. Jack, huh? Mm -hmm. That thing's a joke. It's held together with spit and glue. Look at this place, Christina. The whole place is falling down around you. You're gonna freeze in the winter and swelter in the summer. The roof leaks, the floor is tilted. Baldack, you do not have permission to be up there. Why not? He jumps on my head every night. Beat he sharpens the claws on my shoes. Sasha and Pierre, they unravel all my sweaters. Why shouldn't Balzac sit down at the table to have dinner? Come on, Balzac, enjoy yourself. You, know, you don't have to stay here at night. You can stay at your own apartment. Do you see the electrical tape, please? Thank you. You know, at least Eddie's place had heat and plumbing that works. What does he have to do with this? Nothing. Except that you gave up now, answer top. me, what does Eddie have to do with this? Well, he would take you back, you know that, don't you? Is that what 
you want me to do? You want me to go back to Eddie? Look, I can't get you the things you deserve. I'm a bartender. I make my living on tips. Tips. What the hell can I buy with tips, huh? I mean, I can't even afford the steering wheel of that $40,000 car he bought you. I don't want... I can't get you a fur coat. I can't even get you a silk blouse. Alan, I hate silk. You know, before I came along, you had your own shop. So what? So all you had to do was water plants. You could hang out with Red and Gloria all you wanted. Now, because of me, you're overworked and you're underpaid. I took you out of the good life. And I turned you into a stupid salad girl. Is that what you think I'm all about? You wake up with your arms wrapped around me claiming to be in love with who? Not me, that's for sure. You don't even know who I am. You don't even know that that's how much I care about your finer things in life. figured you could use the stereo. Sure. And the African masks. Save rent. Uh, I'm just getting things straight, okay? Don't worry, babe. 
I'll propose again. Sure, yourself, lady. Because you love me. Perfectly, Christina. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> Hold that thought. Oh. You got it, babe. Hello, Bozak. Muy so. Oh, it's a hot day for you.
said he was killed instantly. Yeah, Chrissy, we sure are. We should be out of the hole by February. Honey, listen, I was wondering... No, 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 don't mess up my schedule. 40 seconds to shower, 45 seconds to get dressed. Hey! Oh. <laughs> no! Two seconds? I only wait two seconds? I'm an entrepreneur, Mr. Matthews. So tiring. Maybe that's why my body's acting weird. Who's weird? Yeah. I was wondering. Sasha! We don't have time for this! I was talking to this guy, a senator's aide. They could use somebody part-time. A volunteer, somebody with experience. When do you start? It's gonna cut into our Sundays and weeknights. Alan, we have a million Sundays ahead of us. When do you start? You don't mind? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Good morning. Good morning. Come here, babe. I'm late. Get over here. Yourself. There was a time when I was number one on your agenda. Christina! What's going on? What? What is this? What, honey? Christina. What's this? Drinking beer at seven in the morning? I'm thirsty. Fifi, get down from there, huh? Take it out of the fork, cat, why don't you? All right, Christina. You want to play games? Fine. I don't. What are you doing? I'm calling your doctor. Why? Somebody has to. Alan! Alan, don't! Damn it, Alan! You don't know anything! Maybe I'm having my period. 
You already had your period. You are not a doctor, Alan. Women's bodies, they are not clouds, they're lunar. <sighs> Who's making the call, Christina? Me or you? Alan, I saw Dr. Willard three months ago. There's nothing wrong with me. I'll call him. I'll call him. Have you ever been to the clinic? Uh, yeah, about six times. I need to make an appointment today. Um, I can't find your file. Yeah, I've been coming there for about two years. We have no record of that, Miss Taylor. I've looked. Well, then look again. Listen. I, I really need an appointment for today. It's kind of an emergency. You can sit up now. I'm afraid I won't be able to take a culture from your cervix. Why? You're bleeding too profusely. There are many reasons why your cervix could be in this condition. Such as? I'm going to refer you to a gynecological oncologist. Why haven't you done anything about your abnormal pap test? My what? According to these records. Well, they found my records. According to this... Wait a minute. My records miraculously reappear? I had to go get them. Christina, your tests have been abnormal for over two years. But... Uh, Dr. Grant... Uh, no one... Nobody told me. I can't be sick. I mean, I... Except for this spotting. I feel fine. I'm going to send you over to the hospital. The hospital? As an outpatient. I do a conization. That's a surgical excision of a cone of tissue from your cervix. Right. Just remember, I'm open until the 24th. If you need anything else, just talk. Merry Christmas! was blotting you out. I, I didn't hear a word you said. Oh. Alan? Alan? What's up, Christina? <gasps> You're gonna freeze. Where's your coat? Of tank for the walls. I know you're probably going to hate it. I don't care what color you bought. Come on, let's go inside. Baby. What? It's too late for us, babe. Why? What are you talking about? Tomorrow, I have to get this thing. This. What? This radical thing. What did the doctor say? What? A hysterectomy, Alan. I won't ever be able to have babies. I won't ever be able to have Arby. Okay. We can deal with that. You're going to be all right, Christine. I swear to God, I'm not letting anything happen to you. You hear me? You're safe. You're all right. I'm not all right. <sighs> Nothing's right. She said that I have... I can't even say it out loud. I... Cancer?
Lifetime wants to... She won't be having a hysterectomy. Is that good? Christina has positive pelvic nodes. So? Surgery just isn't an option. Well, what is? We'll have to try radiation treatment instead. Well, don't give up on it, Doc. She's tough. She'll beat it. she's doing. She's had 35 sessions of external radiation and two radiation implants in her cervix. Well, the woman glows in the dark. Hey, that's love, not uranium. Look, you said no to a hysterectomy. Fine. We went along with that. You gave up on radiation. Fine. Now it's chemotherapy. This is a woman lying here, not a medical experiment. Let's just see how she responds to the chemotherapy. Fine. Right. I want some guarantees here. Mr. Matthews, you know as well as I do, there are no guarantees. Have a nice day. That's what Christina does when the customers go. You'll get the hang of it. I will, huh? Whoa. We gotta go easy on our spices, though. Doing my best, Pete. Um, I got something for you. What? Some more cooking tips? Lawyer. Alan, I, I got the name of a lawyer for you. We don't need it. He specializes in malpractice suits. Get it through your head, buddy. We I don't... mentioned your case to him. What case? Well, I figured you and Christina would want to sue the clinic. Well, you figured well, wrong. She's going to get well. Yeah, I, I realize that, but it's the clinic's fault. They blew it. You want to butt out, Pete? I mean, you're a great guy. The clinic to... hasn't accepted responsibility, financial or otherwise. They're putting the screws to you. Oh, man. Leave it to an accountant. Excuse me. Change. Thank you. You know, to you, the world's one big checkbook. You think everything's going to be settled by lawyers. Well, forget it, Pete. Christina's going to get well. That's not the point. Well, then what is? You're going to go broke. You know what cancer costs? You lose the deli, you lose everything. Not everything. Not Christina. You hear me, Pete? She's all that matters. I guarantee you she's going to pull through. She's going to get better gonna make it. She's gonna make it. Oh, 
Who was that on the phone? My real estate agent. What's he this? What? Shampoo? Uh, well, I don't know. I just thought maybe. Ah, <laughs> here. Look at these. <laughs> How do you like this one? Siren yellow. <laughs> so, what's going on? I like yours better. Christina, you're hiding something. I know it. Well, you want to let me in on it? Not particularly. Well, since when do we keep secrets from one another? Since about three weeks ago. What are you talking about? You lied to me. I never lied. You told me you were doing volunteer work. So I called over there to surprise you. Guess who was surprised? Me. Mr. Matthews is on a leave of absence, they said. Christina. I waited. I waited, and you didn't say a word. You just quit, huh? Threw opportunity away. I didn't throw anything away. I was protecting your assets. I figured... Look, I couldn't work the bar nights, go to the senator's office, visit you. And run the deli. Exactly. Up in dawn, boiling eggs. Yeah, you know how it is. Yeah. Pete says you overspice. Well, Pete doesn't have any taste buds. Since when are you a master chef? <laughs> I'm improving. My apple cake's a hit. Yeah? Well, that's great. You and your apple cake are retiring. We're selling the deli, baby. Oh, hang on. Allie, we sign the papers tomorrow. Pia, come here. Sit here. Listen, you have no right to go behind my back. I learned that tactic from you, Mr. Senator's aide. I mean, the deli is... The deli is my dream. Mine, Alan, not yours. I'm just keeping it going. So no, you're... you get well. If, if, no, just a little bit of reality, please. No. I'm not ready for that. I'll be your chief cook and bottle washer. I'll be your senator's aide. I'll be whatever you want me to be. But I'm not talking disease with you. I'm not letting abnormal cells screw us up. If you want to sell the deli, fine. Sell it. Burn it down for all I care. But not because you don't think you're going to make it. Don't even try to get me to accept that fact. Don't even try. You understand? Because without you, there's a piece missing. You mad at me? For not telling you and... Because you know your apple cake is... It's pretty good. It's a mix. serving my customers fake cake you sneak you sneak you better throw that cake mix out your prodigal roommate's coming home they're coming home hmm. you know if you complain about the food long enough they figure you're well enough to go home Why are you two looking so solemn? According to my last test, there are no traces of cancer in your body. Me? Mine? You are in remission, Miss Taylor. No! Oh, thanks. 
doctor. Thank you very much. Oh, baby. Kennedy premieres Friday at 8 p.m. Red's doing that again, Alan. Invading my thoughts. Naggy. You were sick? Well, you're not sick now. Are you, Gal? Gal. I thought by now, you'd be one of Julia Child's biggest rivals. So I take it you're giving up on being a lady of leisure, huh? Yeah. It's back to chef hats and aprons. I see. What? Well, I was wondering. Not that a chef hat doesn't suit you. <laughs> I thought you might also consider a wedding bonnet. It's gonna be chocolate. Alan loves chocolate. I thought wedding cakes are supposed to be white. Not this one. This one's gonna be chocolate. But I can't decide about the veil. I mean, the Baroque is, is very pretty. But maybe it should be in the tongue. Hello? What is it with you? You are too damn subdued. Another dream. No. Another pregnancy. Gloria, that's wonderful. You're looking at an overworked mom, Christina. I don't have time for dreaming. Are you positive? No rafts splitting in two? No zany premonitions in your head? No. Just crying babies. Cross your heart. Cross my heart. Okay. Sorry, I was late. You're out shopping. Is Alan with you? It's bad luck. All the wedding stuff, um... You know, the bride and groom superstition stuff, so... Gloria brought me over. Why? I mean, this is just a, a checkup. You said that... Why? Do you want to call Alan? Um, it's okay. I'm ready. Shoot. There's a 
new tumor at the base of your spine. It's inoperable. If you can't operate, that means I'm going to die, huh? Would you mind, would you mind telling me how long? Well, that depends on... Oh, Dr. Grant, please, no, I, I can't take any more scientific explanations. Just the truth. probably won't live out the year, Christina. Alan Matthews calling. Temple lady. Did you feed the cats? Yeah. Fifi tried to attack a bird. Did you scold her? She's a cat, Christina. She's supposed to go after birds. You have to scold her, Alan. I hate it when she misbehaves. You're going to have to learn. What? Will you take care of them? 
Christina. Will you? I'm leaving you. I know. No. Now. Today. I've already left. There's no reason for you to... There's no reason for you to hang around. Is that what you think? You sleep out of here all night, and you come up with a cockamamie statement like that? You're a clown, you know that? Don't make it any harder, okay? What's the matter, Christine? I'm sick. What were you planning on doing? Dropping me a note in the mail? Dear Alan, thanks for everything. Don't stick around. Love, Christina. Do you always have to argue, Alan? What are you doing? Where are you going? You see? You don't have a plan. You're still adrift. When the going gets tough, you fall apart. You're the one who's going to taste my chemotherapy. Practically murdered the doctor over radiation. Well, let me tell you something, Alan. That was nothing compared to the next stuff. Try me. No. You don't have a choice. Oh, Alan, we are finished. The hell we are. What are you going to do? Are you, you going to force me to stay? Huh? Why? Because you're going to die? Everybody's going to die, Chrissy, not just you. Yeah, but everybody doesn't know how and when. I know. And I am not sharing that with you. I do not want you there for the bad parts, okay? Why? So I can feed myself on false hope? Tell myself you'll get well? You'll come back? Those days are over, Christina. When you go... I'll be by your side. I am not dragging you down with me. I don't want you there as my clumsy nursemaid. Clumsy? Yeah, clumsy. But well mean. No, please. Alice, don't you see? We couldn't make love. Not the desire. Never the desire. That will never die in me. But everything else, it's ruined, babe. Chrissy, we're five feet away. And we're making love. Sometimes when I see you in the kitchen, with breadcrumbs plastered on your cheeks, without touching, we're one. You can ride across this country. You can run a million miles away. But I'll still be here. Loving you. With or without you. It's your move, Christine. Bit, Christina. Craig, this isn't about money. This is about saving other women's lives. Spit. But you insisted on that figure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a stubborn woman. Well, you are. I've tried to do it your way, Christina. The clinic's malpractice insurance covers this paltry fee, and they won't go for it. You're only worth $50,000 to them. 
It's a travesty. Well, wait a minute. Because I could have phoned them to get the results of my pap smear. Christina, you trusted them to do their job. Let me tell you this. If we settle, it won't make the papers. You want women to be more aware? Fine. Then do it where it counts. Go public. Take them to court. Okay, Greg. But you better hurry. Chopping fine means tiny pieces, Alan. Now, add a teaspoon of anise. After sauteing the onions. Chrissy? I'm okay. You know the cookbook says... Oh, put the cookbook down. This is my recipe. Yes, ma'am. It's too much vinegar. Would you explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what you did with respect to trying to contact Miss Taylor? When lab report came in, I took it to Dr. Willard. He reviewed the record and had me contact the patient. He said, you need to get a hold of this patient and refer her for colposcopy and possible biopsy. I then tried to contact the patient. I love my shower chair, Alan. Christina Taylor probably would have been 100% salvageable if she had been informed of the results of her pap tests and received treatments. Her disease was curable? Oh, yes. to know if you fill up to making a court appearance. Oh, not like this. Christina, you didn't mean right this second. Oh. Did anyone at the clinic ever contact you? No. According to the nurse at the clinic, she advised you of the abnormality in your pap smear. She said she told you, you possibly needed a colposcopic examination. And you replied, don't worry, I have a private physician. Did you ever make such a statement? Never. Christina, how long do you have to live? I was supposed to die two months ago. Can you tell us what is happening to you physically? I am back on chemotherapy. But it isn't working this time. It is killing my white blood cells. I have an infection in my kidneys. I have a nephrostomy. But I have good days. I have lots of good days. Thank you. Christina! The jury refused to award you the $200,000. that you were worth 
much more than that. They've awarded you three million dollars. This will make the papers, right, Alan? Front page, baby. No two feet are exactly alike. You guys be good to my honey. I'm counting on you. You remember to feed the plants? We made a nice home, huh? We sure did. the dawn come in. Are you crying, babe? No. I'm so mad at you, Lee. I wish I could scream. I want to show you how mad I am. in you, Christina. Thanks, buddy. You've got some temper, lady. Oh, don't you forget it, Mr. Matthews. Don't you ever forget it.
Thank you.